name is Tracy Cook and welcome to the podcast series Victim to Victory. This series gives a voice to those that have overcome obstacles in all forms that dare greatly to share their real stories. Amazing humans like our upcoming guest that have seen hope and risen above those adversities to become victorious, that now support and inspire others to do the same. And today we are giving a voice to a transformational mindset strategist that is inspiring, influencing, helping communities and help changing and saving people's lives. And she is a world changer, which we absolutely love here on Victim to Victory. And welcome, Katja. Where does your story start? Thank you so much, Tracy. Thank you. And good morning. (laughs) I'm so glad to be here with you sharing my story, hoping that will help uh, at least one person. If we do that, we did our job, right? So my story starts 14. Let's say that the manifestation of everything else that it's behind it starts in that year. One day I just woke up and I couldn't, I wasn't able to move. I started to have pain all over my body. Uh, in the, in 24 hours, I was so much in pain. I couldn't have my eyes open, my hands were twitching. I I remember I took some like three painkillers and it didn't help at all. The pain became so unbearable that I went to the hospital and there they couldn't help me. They gave me other painkillers, but nothing was happening. The pain was so harsh. And I remember that I shook my head on the walls because of the pain. And they didn't know what to do. I remember uh, sawing them, uh, just going up and down, up and down, talking between them. And they were like, we don't know what to do. I remember I was just crying, please help me, help the pain stop. I cannot bear it anymore. And then they just anesthetized me. They put me to sleep till the morning. Then I saw one doctor and uh, just he touched some points on my body and he said well this is fibromyalgia at the time i didn't know what it was maybe it was better because after <laughs> i understood that it's everything and nothing so uh there is no cure some doctor says that um it exists that kind of disease some doctor says no it doesn't exist because well, you know, we, we don't have anything for you it started all in 2014 and for four years i was in physical pain <laughs> of course in those four years i i had m- many emotional pains i got depressed i got anxious panic attacks because in those four years i went to see so many doctors i live in italy i flew through from south to north to see many doctors many uh prof- professionals asking who who can help me. In those four years, I got another diagnosis that was Lyme disease that was affecting my brain and my heart. And my heart starts to have trouble. I uh, started to lose my memory, uh, started to lose the ability to speak properly. 
it's like it was like the whole my body started to fall apart then i went to england i saw a doctor in london and we made some tests and he found out that that every cell in my body was poisoned with mercury and he actually didn't understood how i was alive but at the end no cure at all to make it or all, all <laughs> better i got cancer too so it i remember one day i was sitting in my sofa and uh, not to mention that i couldn't move by myself i couldn't stand on my feet and the worst part was that pain there were no painkillers that could uh, alleviate that pain it, it was 24 hours a day and every two nights uh, i ended up in the er just to get anesthetized the, my, my my nervous system because they didn't know what to do with me i tried everything every kind of therapy that they tried wanted to try on me i accepted but things went only worse so i remember the day i was sitting in my sofa and i was uh, th there was um book show and i so wanted to get out uh i was uh, light sensitive so i could uh, be uh, just with my uh, glass sunglasses and i said to my husband please could you take me there and i passed with my hand or over my head and i just sensed something strange my hair started to fall off in pieces and i remember being so angry because of the exhaustion and i said oh god please come on i cannot take it anymore give me some break and after seven days i found out that i have a cancer too so i was i can tell you that when someone is asking me well katya you know you are now a mindset strategist you work with people and so you did it so wow i said yes but it was four years of struggle four years of anger i was very angry with god with life i couldn't understand how to i started to read it there were audiobooks because i couldn't my eyes my sight was worsening so i couldn't even read and i remember in that book says you have to accept your situation in order to heal and i was like come on how can i accept something like this i'm dying and my my life is miserable i'm in constant pain and i thought that accepting meant giving up i was like if i accept i give up on life after i started to work on myself i understood what that means acceptance you accept the situation that is right now your feelings you embrace your feelings of desperation and this is right now the next moment can change in a few hours everything can change tomorrow next day next week but now accept as it is it was not easy 
it was not easy. I really searched everywhere for help. My life was falling apart. I, I thought that I was a tough woman, that I already uh, has overcome so many things. And that was, uh, I call it a glitch. <laughs> I was always thinking that being strong, overcoming things, it's what makes you, um, yeah, strong for life. I never allowed myself to fall back. I was like uh, falling on my feet, but it was really just an illusion, just an illusion, just a lie that I was telling to myself. Mm. I never accepted my vulnerability. And today I know that our vulnerability is our is our greatest strength when we accept it and trace in one yeah one day when the epiphany happened in my life it was like i think it was the the, the second year of this uh of this harsh living like this and um I woke up in the morning and then I fall from the bed because I couldn't stand on my feet because my muscles couldn't stand. My joints were all, um, were like, I was like Pinocchio, you know, Pinocchio. I was Mm -hmm. like, I I had no flexibility in my body. And then I, I went to the bathroom, just leaning on the walls. And I wanted to wash my face, but I fall down and I fall on the floor and hit my head. And I couldn't stand up and I was alone. My husband was at work. Someone had to work for all the bills and uh, the therapies that I tried and everything. And I started to cry maybe for the first time from my soul. I cried out loud. I, I, I think I yelled. I yelled at God, at everyone. I was crying and, and, and yelling till I remember hearing myself, help me. Somebody help me, please. Why no one can help me? And I don't know how how long it it went over and over, this thing. I just remember, you know, when you cry so much after you are so still, somehow empty. And I tried to get on my feet, leaning, you know, on, on the wall, on the sink. And then I looked at myself in the mirror and I think that for the first time, I haven't seen those those white eyes and all the the face with that that had signs of, of pain or suffer. I looked right into my eyes and I remember hearing my voice without talking, you have you, you will help yourself. And all started from there, all started from there. I studied, I I found some ways through the pain. The first thing that that I did is meditation, transcendental meditation, because I wanted to detach from the pain. And since I I was meditating from when I was eight, 
at the time I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Actually, it was some it was uh, natural to me. And I remember for seven days I couldn't I, I haven't seen any results. I couldn't just leave the pain. But I remember, I think after a month of trying, 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 I entered into a state where I think it was just for maybe a second. I haven't felt the pain. And it was the most beautiful thing that had happened to me. And I said, if you could do that for not even a second, well, wait, you can do much more. You can do much more. You have that power inside of you and you will make it. You will heal yourself. If no one can heal you, you will do it you will do that by yourself. And it took me four years. And it was, there were up and downs. But today I can tell you that I'm pain-free, I'm healthy. And I took my life back. And the most important thing is that I haven't returned to my managerial job, work, that I had, I loved my job. I was, I remember I was talking to my husband and I said, I want to help people. I don't know if we, we can make it with just one paycheck <laughs> that it's secure, <laughs> but I feel it. I feel it. I just want to share. I want to, I want the people who are suffering to see themselves as I now see people with their full potential. And if I did it, everyone can do it. Everyone can overcome any odds in their life and my husband was a real love and he said I know that this is your purpose and I will do everything to support you and so he did wow you've just taken us uh, taken us all on just such a, a, a powerful and insightful journey and I love how you transitioned and then and, and really drew us into your room Katja because you know uh, fibromyalgia uh, I myself have that and it's very um it, it's very hard to deal with the mental side of that so I love how you work with yeah. mindset and during that four years of healing and transformation and meditation and going to the doctors and doing the medicine and the trials and trying every single Everything. treatment out there, you know, there was, um, and thank you so much for your vulnerability of the, sharing with us those days where you're depressed and you couldn't, you know, um, carry on anymore but you know um it sounds very much like when you looked in that mirror in the bathroom that day where you were you know dragging yourself up and you just seen yourself into your soul almost um you know yeah. that's when possibly that mindset started reprogramming um our fight or flight isn't it we can either Absolutely. choose to lay down and hold up that um, woe is me card, or we can go, you know what, I see into your soul. I, I see into your soul. Absolutely. I've survived 100% of my bad days, my worst days. And here I am today looking into my soul, into the mirror, and I know that I can do this. I just need to keep trying and just being that little bit better every single day, not to be perfect, but just to be that little bit better than the day we were before and I Absolutely. love how you showed us how you done that and those tips that you used around changing your mindset because 
mindset because that's what you're a master at, transformational mindset. And you, you're the living proof of overcoming all of those obstacles, those years of pain and depression and then mm. anguish and giving up and also those glimmers of hope of where you could see your potential and you could see your greatness within yeah. and then looking into that mirror, yeah. making those mindset shifts and actually being a product of your product, so to speak, because <laughs> I know how many people you're helping with the same strategies that helped you. So you're, you're yeah. so the change that the world needs, Katja, because you're giving people a hand up. You're going, look, if I can do this, I want to show you how I done it and hopefully that'll help you as well. So you are just such a world and change maker. Oh, what kind of you. message would you like to leave our audience on today? Because here you are, you're healthy, you're happy, you've healed, your mindset is strong. No doubt you're still having some challenging days like we all are because we're of course. human. Um, <clears throat> of course. <laughs> Of course, it, it, well, it, it's we are human, as you said. Of course, what kind of that message would you like to leave everybody on? Well, I just want to say that whatever one is going through right now, whatever kind of suffering and pain, and I know that I know that it's hard. And there is no small or a big pain or tragedy or suffering. There is just your suffering. And you cannot measure it with, with anyone else. It's not that someone's uh, suffering is less important because maybe it was not life-threatening. It doesn't matter. What I want to say that if you feel stuck in that suffering of any kind and you feel like locked out and you see those that big black door in front of you that it's just hiding the light from you and you cannot don't know how to open the door I want to say that just believe me you already have the keys with you those keys were always there it's you don't have to search outside for anything aside for help ask ask for help but don't don't cling on others to show you the way, but search for others to show you where to find your key inside of you. This is your strength and this is your power and you can do it. You are just one decision away from being, feeling better and to take back your life again powerful very powerful one decision away just think about that um really let that resonate and sit in that space uh Karcha is a a thought leader so we're all just one decision away and she is amazing you need to connect with her. You need to go and follow the links that we're about to share to connect with Katja because she has all of the mindset strategies to help you overcome where you're feeling stuck or a little bit blocked. Or if you really resonate with her story today and think, I need to connect with Katja because she's overcome what I'm going through what right now yeah. with the fibromyalgia and the cancer and the mindset self-limiting beliefs almost the depression the anxiety please connect with her because she does have the tools and resources to help you so thank you very much for being brave to share your story and we'll be sharing where to connect with you you are so appreciated in our community mm -hmm. and you can find 
the Victim to Victory podcast series on Apple, Spotify, YouTube and our Facebook group. So please subscribe, share and comment. And if you're one of Karcher's followers, please show her some love in the comments as well to help be the change that the world actually needs. And let me leave you with a message of figure out who you are and do it on purpose. Thank you very much, Katja. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for doing such a great, great service to others. Thank you. Thank you.